guys, so I just got out of work. I think I'm going to make uh, this video. I'm going to put together my day again. I don't know why. Like I said, I never plan anything. I just talk and record. So I'm in town. Oh, good God. Why do I look like that? <laughs> it's really highlighting my double chin. I don't like that. Oh, well, whatever. It is what it is. Um, and uh, just get out of work early. Ow. My skin is so dry. If you guys ever get such dry skin, you get out of work, you're just like tired and just start rubbing this dry skin off. You're probably like, no. <laughs> no, you freak. Just kidding. Anyway, I'm going to go run errands and then my boys um, have special requests. And that sun is really bright. Holy cow, but it feels good to see the sun. Last time I seen it was yesterday. I think. Oh yeah, because I walked outside at work. On the back patio, there's a smoking patio. Ow, I scratched myself. And it was raining though, but that wasn't sun, that was just outside. Anyway, who cares? And uh, my boss is really getting on my fucking nerves. I don't know if I've already talked about it, but remember when I was telling you guys how um, she... I was making a big deal because I missed the one day. Yeah. Meanwhile, there's guys, and I don't know, I don't know if she's favoring guys. It sounds like it to me. Because all my reviews, everything's good all the time, you know, every all my numbers are good, everything. Never complained. I had like the least mistakes for a long time. In fact, the point they said is very remarkable, whatever. Okay, but then, like, miss one day and this bitch got... I don't know what the hell. Why? Why? She knows my whole situation. And then I go and talk about how... I don't know if it's in this, the same video that I'm going to put together here or if it's the previous video. I don't know. I haven't even looked at your guys' comments. I don't know what I'm doing. I know I talked about it, about bullying and how it's kind of like a mindset. And so you think about it then you make decisions based on it all that and uh, I said a little bit of that but I th just because I said I think it's over with it has to happen like it starts to head that way again you know when you guys say like oh it's such a beautiful day today it's always so sunny or something whatever then it pours like you know that kind of shit or like oh my god they always make the best cake whatever I don't know and then the cakes disgusting that's what I'm talking about. Why does that happen so much? <laughs> like you say something and then the opposite just happens just as suddenly. Anyway, she's like, oh, we're going to talk about that. I think I told you guys, but I'm like, she doesn't talk to me, but like, what in the world? Oh my God, please, woman, leave me alone. And then and she, they asked me like, do you want to be trained for anything else? And I named a couple of positions and, um, what, oh, she's like, oh, I don't think you could do that because you got to do this position first. And I'm like, not, I don't think so. I know that's not the case. She's like, I'll check. She never checked. And in fact, she got my coworker. Um, he, she trained him for it. He didn't even ask for it. And you know, if I had the energy and time, I'd go report her for like discrimination just to get her off my back because she's being... I don't know what's her fucking problem. Like I said, she's the type that like, um, she wants to please her bosses so hard that she'll lose her humanity. Do you know what I mean? She goes above and beyond for what they want, but then hates to be hated. Do you know what I mean? So she's always being pulled. I'm all like this, like we're balancing some balls or something. Just kidding. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, who gives a fuck about her? Oh, God. And then I was working and then like a co-worker comes up to me. She's in her 50s, I think. Um, a little bit older than me, I think. And uh, anyway, she's she tells me, she's like, oh, my God, did you see the one guy in the lunchroom? He's picking his boogers and eating them all while we're all eating. And we've said something. He just keeps doing it. She's like, I have an autistic son and, and he knows not to do that. Why is he doing it? Even if he's autistic, why is he doing it? She's all... <laughs> 
she's just like dumbfounded sure enough so i'm like oh great thank you jackie thanks for telling me this now i'm going to be looking while i'm eating my damn pomegranate so i finish my pomegranate then i go and look and my brother is sitting with me too you know and the whole table, they're like, oh, I'm not looking. Nobody wanted to look. My brother starts looking. He's like, oh, and he's like that. And right away as he looked, he's like the kid, the kid. I don't know why I'm calling him a kid. He's in his thirties. Does this and he, cause I, that's something a kid would do, right? <laughs> Pick their boogers and eat them. And I was like, oh man, come on. Like what the hell? I, I just was telling her, I don't understand some people. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I don't like this angle. Oh, dear God in heaven. I don't know. What the hell? It makes me look like I have a bigger double chin. Oh, no. Whatever. Okay. What? Erica, who gives two shits? Like, seriously, who cares? <sighs> anyway. Well, I'm done with work now. That's all done. Three days, full days. Except today, she did grant my two-hour vacation. That's why I'm off early. Because she kept denying them, which they don't do. I don't know what the hell. Probably because she was being mean. So she's like, well, I can't be totally mean, so let me just approve this. But anyway, who gives a fuck? This job's a dead end. I don't know. There's people who, like, depend on it, though, and... I mean, it doesn't pay bad, though. It really doesn't. It's just, um... I don't know. It's a body killer for a lot of people. Lots of people walk around with knee braces. Wrist. All kinds of shit. Jacked up backs. And I just thank my lucky stars I still have everything intact. It did give me like a runner's knee before when they kept putting me on the third floor and I had to climb several flights. It's like 30 flights of stairs a day in addition to the 15 plus miles of walking. And that they kept putting me there for like weeks on end. And so my knee was like, bitch. Other than that, I mean, it went away. But anyway, I don't know what the next video should be. I have um, a story time I wanted to tell you guys, but I probably won't do it today. Uh, it's about the time I had this really psychotic neighbor. And it's, it's from when I was like 21 or something. Long time ago. I only had two kids at the time. Oh man, that's a crazy story and a half. Um, it's my only like misdemeanor or, or crime I've ever had. And it wasn't even like, it was only because she pushed for it. She was a real psycho. I, I do got to tell that story time, man, that made me so mad. Like how dare, like how unju unjust just cause she had a big mouth and kept bothering the police station and calling them and harassing them instead of telling her to shut the fuck up. They come back out anyway, months later. And then gave me that misdemeanor. I'm like, what? And she's at my door. Uh, almost assaulting me. Trying to come in my house. And I'm like, yeah. Anyway, that's that'll be a story time for another time. Some crazy shit. And other psychotic neighbors. Oh, I just don't understand. They had like unruly kids. Like my kids never run around and go cause trouble for others. But, you know, a lot of kids these days do because their parents don't give two shits and they're horrible examples. So, anyway, um, they're, at the time my autistic brother was living with me and they were harassing the hell out of him. And, and you know, the police don't give two shits. They take the side of the people doing the wrong. Even though the... Their kids are in my yard harassing us. It ain't that a bitch. It's just this world is so upside down and backwards. It really is. And the police aren't there to help you. I know there's some good ones. Of course there's good ones in every everything, you know. But my experience is the, the times I've ever called. And I can't imagine, you know, if you're not white, how much worse that is. Like, that's crazy, man. 
I have that much trouble, these fuckers, I don't know, they're just so hateful, most of them, it's like, they don't want to come and do their job, you know, I don't get it, I don't get it, anyway, I don't know what else I'm going to talk about, what else happened? Um, so I think I had a great three days because the beginning of my three days, I woke up, I said, nope, these days are going to go by fast. They didn't go by that fast, but I'm, um, I said, they're going to be good days. I'm not going to be totally suffering too much, <laughs> you know, feeling too sleepy, all that. And I just told myself that, and sure enough, I didn't allow myself to think like, oh, I can't stand this. You know, when you get into that kind of self-talk, it just makes it so much worse. So I try not to do that. And it does help. You know. And my boys messaged me and told me uh, the neighbor guy who was giving me money, well, the neighbor's friend, and I like said, you know, I felt sort of feeling comfortable or whatever, but he brought some food or chicken soup and um, pie. That's just so nice. Um, I don't know. These are times like that, like I think God like makes up for, um, makes up for all the shit I've had go wrong. I've just had these like angels come out of the woodwork, especially since I separated from, you know, my husband or whatever. And, um, oh man, yes, I'm always crinkling my forehead. Mm. I can't wait to get some rest. Oh, shit. I don't know how you guys doing out there. <laughs> I can't wait to read your comments. I'm sure I'll have 1% of assholes, but that's fine. Um, I don't think any you, a person on YouTube ever gets used to that. What the hell? What are you looking at, dude? Um, anyway. I don't know what the hell I'm thinking about. I'm so tired now, suddenly. So my boy, one of my boys wants to try sushi, but not the kind with the raw fish in it. Oh my God, my hair. It's the kind with like avocado and rice and cream cheese and vegetables or something. I don't know. I don't like fish or sushi. You know, my ex-fiance tried to always take me to these fancy restaurants, try lobster, try crab, try this, try that. And oh no, sorry. I just don't like seafood. And the meat that I do eat has to be, like, cooked beyond rec recognition. Ew, I don't know. Since I was a kid and I watched how they make hot, made hot dogs, I wanted to throw up. So disgusting. I don't know. And if I get, like, a piece of cartilage or skin or bone, I'm done. I will throw up. I don't know. Maybe it's a texture thing or maybe... I, I don't know. I just, just... I'm always grossed out. I like my shit burnt if I have any kind of meat. I don't understand you people who like bloody steaks and stuff, Ugh, or oysters. Oh, God. Each their own, though. I don't judge. <laughs> I just... And then crab tastes like if you were to boil a baby chicken and shred it. <laughs> I don't know. Ew. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Ew, and like shrimp. Oh, cockroaches from the ocean. No, thank you. I don't know, guys. Um, anyway. Oh, four days off. Thank you, God. And I put off, like, my life coaching that I get for free. Um, I had an appointment, and I, I kept, I canceled. 
because um we went to the corn maze and all that and then i just rescheduled it she wasn't available i think she went on vacation or something she wasn't available last week so i have it wednesday and so much has happened since the last time i talked to her we were talking about like fear like around goals and i told her i had this youtube about my nursing license god it's so Oh my lord. So we'll talk about that. And I don't know. Whew. I need to quit yawning. I'm going to make you guys go to sleep. Anyway, I'll, um, I'm going to cut the video off and I'll talk to you guys later. Maybe on my way home. So, yeah, my one of my boys wanted the sushi to try. Uh, and I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna go because I'm gonna put you guys to sleep. I'll see you in a little bit, maybe. So, I'm back again. I was listening to, um, I don't know why it's in my recommended, but like, I swear the AI knows us very well nowadays. Um, say it was like a TikTok compilation. I don't watch TikTok, but the compilation of people or women saying how I knew he hated me or something like that. And wow, did I ever relate to that? Um, I don't know. It's like how when you have a hard time or you go through hard times in a marriage, how somebody could just give up. Well, there's just no maturity there. I'm sorry. That's just part of the pro big part of the problem. How you can um, blame somebody else totally when the root cause is your lack of support is why I'm getting mad and, and resentful. Do you know what I mean? So I started to have a lot of resentment. What does he do? He abandons us. This is in 2017. I'll talk about... I'll probably... Man, I just... I don't want to talk too much. So not divorced yet, but... But that compilation, listening to it, it just like... Ugh. How they said that they were never complimented. I mean, he did in the beginning. But he just quit doing that after a while. It was gross, actually. Um, and I always complimented him and always tried to make him feel good. You know what I mean? Because you love somebody, you care about their well-being, you would think. But anyway, I was listening to their stories and all that. and ugh, The total abandonment several times. If you guys knew the whole story, oh man. I, I'm kind of embarrassed to say it, but I will. I'll tell it one day. And you know, this is going to bring out the demons because there's a lot of like a, women haters and abusers out there, and this triggers their demons because I always get at least one when I talk about it. And they are so spiteful and hateful and assumptive. <laughs> you, I mean, it's obvious who they are. I should just leave them there and pin the comments. So they could see how stupid they are. And other people can join in. I don't know. I don't know. They're just so stupid. But that's the kind of mentality that's just, oh. And I'm not just talking only men or assholes. Please don't get me wrong. I don't believe that at all. I know I've had a lot of people say comments like that. You know, because people get have bad experiences and they generalize, you know. They generalize, but that's just not true. I mean, I've had bad experiences, but I see enough out there to know that that is not true. I know a lot of people are really screwed up nowadays, but it doesn't mean only men are screwed up. Women are screwed up too. I've seen plenty of bitches and fucking, you, you know, user sluts out there that are, you know, like there's a nice guy and it's like the nice guys, just like the nice girls always get the fucking asshole bitches and cocksuckers you know you get the nice guys always get the hoes the ones that go cheat on them over and over and over and 
it's just ridiculous. And, and it has a lot to do, though, what I noticed, because that was my story, is the lack of boundaries. That's why they, people don't respect you after a while. But also, that's not to put all the blame on you or me or anybody, because there's a level of humanity and decency and respect you should have for other human beings. Then rather than keep using them and abusing them, that's disgusting. There's no excuse for that. But our part in those kind of situations is where we didn't have boundaries. We let people step on us for too long. This looks like it has a filter. Or is my skin look halfway decent after work? And my makeup's still on. What the hell? Because I don't have filters on my um, camera. Camera? My phone. Not in the video anyway. And I never would anyway. Why? That bother that irks the shit out of me when people put filters, especially a woman that's already strikingly gorgeous. She goes and puts fucking filters. I'm just like, are you kidding? I, I excessive. It, it just speaks of like no self-esteem. And I've seen that, you know, a lot with girls that are really pretty in the, where I work right now. They wear these tight booty pants, and oh my god, I'm I'm blinded. Um, and, um, you know, I overhear them talking about how, you know, somebody abused them, somebody called them ugly, this, that. So they're trying to compensate. And I, I totally understand that, you know, when somebody keeps calling you names, you start to believe it after a while, you start to really feel sad. And then like, you just don't attract any nice people to you to lift you up. Otherwise, not that. You should expect other people to lift you up, but do you know what I mean? So you start to believe it because you don't hear different. Or if somebody says something, you don't believe it anyway. So especially if your parents were just be nasty like that. But anyway. Oh god, I need gas. Let's just go here. Can I get some gas? But they gotta go to the store before I head on the freeway. Ew. What the hell is that? Ugh. It's a kind of dead animal in the road. It's disgusting. It's not even recognizable. Not that you guys need to know that. That just took all my attention though right now. But anyway, um I don't know. And I guess I'll see how the other video went. The video I posted from working Saturday, you know, kind of like that compilation of my whole day from morning to night when I worked. That was my last video. Ah, that hurt. Um, I'll see how that did. If I mean, I'll post this too, but see if you guys like that kind of thing. Either way, I'm making another one regardless. It's going to go up. And I thought I was just going to make the solo video this morning, but this will be for the people who just, again, who just like to listen to me blab. So, because that's all I have in me right now. Oh man, why did I get in this lane? I need gas. Damn it. Oh, jeez. Everybody, calm down how you're driving, please. Be pulling out of places all of a sudden. So, I have to get gas. Oh, jeez. Oh, here's some gas. Get some gas up my beep. Oh, there's already plenty of that. Just kidding. Um... Not really. Okay, here we are. Anyway, I'm going to get some gas and I'll be back. Hi. All right, I just got gas. I'm headed to the grocery store. I really got to cut my hair, but I haven't cut my hair in a year because my husband used to cut it 
and I, I sure as hell ain't gonna ask him. Look at the ends are fried. <laughs> Dust with them. Um, anyway, um, go get my boys some food to eat and let's see, what else shall I talk about? Um, oh my god, I had a topic to talk about. Oh yeah, so I went to, before this, where I went to, to go run an errand and they asked for my name, my last name. And then I said, you know, I'm still, you know, my married last name. And I thought, man, that's really going to be a, maybe say my maiden name again before too long, which isn't that usual either. Both of my names are, I don't know, maybe they are, I don't, well, I know my maiden name isn't, but it's just gave me a weird thought that like, I wonder if you guys could hear the directions that this thing's going to be telling me. I hope not. Oh, jeez. Anyway, um... Let me put the window up. Man, that sun is bright. It's being blocked by the pole right now. Anyway, um... That's just a weird thought. And I'm sure he's going to text me to ask if... I need anything fixed or he's going to want to come over to, you know, the usual. And I'm, I'm going to try to tell him no this week. So we'll see what happens. I really didn't want him to come last week. I just felt uneasy about it. But he always, like, just assumes that he can do whatever he wants, I guess. I don't know, honestly. And I've always encouraged him to, you know, spend time with the boys. But that's not he's coming over for so I don't know I really don't know I don't want to like cut, burn bridges yet but I'm gonna start speaking up because why do I want you here <laughs> I'm usually tired on Tuesdays too I don't want anybody over so yeah I didn't follow my own boundary last week I should have said no but Hey, he was going to fix the floor anyway. Like, I don't want to, like... It, it definitely helped, so... But still, whatever, I don't know. Alright, let me turn now, finally. Jeez. Um... What the fuck? Alright, now I don't know which... Oh God, I can't see my directions. Looks like I'm gonna be turning right. Oops. My my GPS directions are very tiny on the screen because I'm recording. <laughs> and it's sideways still instead of going flipping up. Alrighty, so it looks like I'm turning right. That's right. It's not giving me directions while I'm on here. Weird usually talks above everything no matter what um oh here's this the roads in this town are fucking awful jeez man it's like uh, holy crap tax dollars hard at work yeah not um oh I feel kind of sick today I don't know why feel oh my stomach I just I don't know I guess that my boss dress really stressed me out it just um it brings up like a PTSD thing in me you know because of all the experiences I've had and I guess it's on such a instinctual level I don't even realize it until right now I've just had so many bad experiences you know in nursing my whole life but I did get better about that not think assuming the worst constantly you know what I mean I don't know if I have like um like I said I don't know Satan trying to get me and I noticed that's I know if you guys don't believe in God or whatever that's fine just hear me out or just fast forward whatever but like I know Satan is a thing 
and an energy and um oh is that the library i need to return a library book fuck oh i don't want to come here but i, I will oh, i was looking for this library the other day because i don't um I said I don't know I've lived here but there's so the building so much I've lived here before many years but I just still the town grows so fast I don't it's so big anyway I'm gonna go I'll be right back all right I'm back um I, I returned a library book from months ago where I took my boys and I tried to kind of force them to read. Like my older kids, I got them into reading. Right? They really enjoyed it, except for one. <laughs> um, and then these guys, they used to like reading, but they're like kids of the internet. Damn. My older kids are in their late 20, mid to mid, late 20s and 30. <laughs> the older three. And they love reading. And these boys used to as well, but then they just stopped. And um, I tried to get them into reading again, and it's just not working. I loved reading as a kid. Oh, my God, I would read textbooks. As soon as I could read, I was reading everything. I'd go to the library. I'd go to the bookstores. I just, I loved reading. I loved learning, especially about animals. Oh, my God, the school library. Um. Yeah, I don't know. And now, I'm the same way. Now I just, like, watch YouTube. <laughs> it's like, okay. Um, but, yeah, I had to return that book, and I'm not going to go back to the library. It was a, it was a last-ditch effort to try to get them into it. I mean, we go to the bookstore, like a used bookstore, but they get most of the games. And um, one of my boys really still loves to read, the one that likes to read the Bible and... He's reading like war books. He's really interested in like World War Two and all. And it's so crazy because I used to read every World War Two book ever. <laughs> yeah, and I used to read true crime, like every true crime book there was, every autobiography from World War Two. I think I've read everything. I don't know. I've had varied interests over the years. And um, yeah, I wanted to be a veterinarian as a kid, so I would read all about animals. And I even trained my dog, like I was like nine years old. I trained my dog obedient. Like she would walk around with me off leash and be at heel. You know what I mean? And I trained her to attack people <laughs> on command, not just like randomly. But what was so fucked up is my f best friend. She like, she would never attack me. And he was ginger to German shepherd and Dover mix and she was so well trained I think I told you guys about her in another video but she was my childhood dog I got for like my ninth birthday or something and then I had her all the way up until I was about 18 before she died um in the crack house mind you that story anyway um so Ginger was like me, my, she knew my friend really well and she loved my friend but I'm telling you my dog was so good so obedient and so like well trained I had her so well trained she was like see if she'll attack me I'm like no she kept insisting so I did and, and Ginger fucking ran for her and bit her on the bicep and turned her arm black and blue and I was like oh my I didn't I, I thought maybe she'd run at her but wouldn't really do it she fucking did it Oh my God. And I got to tell you another funny story about Ginger. It's a little controversial as far as the story. It's not really controversial. It is what it is. What the fuck? Why am I saying that? I don't know because everybody's like a bleeding heart nowadays and they like try to um, think they're right but have no experience in the area what's really happening. But. And I don't take a side. It's just a reality that happened with me. But anyway, I don't want to talk about it right now. But um, anyway, Ginger attacked her and turned her arm black and blue. And I was like really worried because if uh, she's like, 
I was like, don't tell your mom, oh my God, because if they told her, you know, that would mean, you know, like the hum humane society. I mean, animal control, not humane society. Animal control would come and take her away, you know what I mean? And um, so, you know, she didn't tell her anything, but we were both shocked. And um, I think I was like 11 at the time or something, 10, and I was like, oh my goodness. Um, yeah, I love Ginger. She was such a great dog. And German Shepherds are my absolute favorite breed, man. I had the Doberman, but still nothing beats a German Shepherd. I absolutely just love the breed. They are, oh my God, just the perfect dog for me. I absolutely love them. Um, oh God. Yeah, I can't wait to get another one. I know they're, you know, all the socializing, all the training that goes into it. And, you know, I know exactly how to like housebreak them and what you do exactly. And, and the key is you never let a damn puppy, damn puppy, you never let them loose in your house before they are potty trained. Because once they go in your house, it's very hard to undo that. They're going to think it's okay every time. So you have to keep them enclosed in a small area or kennel in between while you're training them and then take them out at regular intervals like every two hours um and then just praise them when they go outside and then slowly you let them go like in your house and not saying to keep them in there all the time but while they're in your house you can't let them loose and then um you could start letting them loose a little bit at a time and just watch them close and they start sniffing around you just say come on let's go outside run out you know you don't let, don't give them a chance to squat or whatever, because, oh man, that's a lot of, that's months of undoing for most dogs. And I don't know what it is about pit bulls, but they are the most horrible, and chihuahuas, the most horrible to potty train. They don't, it's like, they don't have any sense of cleanliness or sense of potty training. I don't know. And I've had lots of them and I just, I don't know. <laughs> Especially chihuahuas. They really think the whole place is their shit, their toilet. They're so small. They think, you know, they own the world. But anyway, yeah, I don't know. Pit bulls just took a hell of a lot longer to potty train. Anyway, that's the story of Ginger. This is going to be one hell of a long video, man. That's fine. Like I said, I, I just see what you guys like the best. And I know you guys have said that you like listening to me blab. I find that hard to believe, but I don't know. Not really, but I mean, you know what I mean? It just seems too easy. I'm just talking. I don't know. A lot of people like to hear me blab in real life too, I guess, so. Um, what else can I talk about? I don't even know. Oh my God. I'm just so brain dead and tired. I don't know. And the moment I stop talking, I get extremely sleepy. Like, yikes. So you guys keep me awake with the talking. It's like you guys are sitting right, well, not here in the middle, but <laughs> that'd be something. Imagine yourself sitting right here in the passenger seat, not the middle. Um, anyway, I don't know what, like, my ears are always, like, whenever, the, I know it sounds crazy, but they have those solar flare thingies, and I know it, I don't know if that's what it is, but, like, I'm really sensitive to, like, frequencies and stuff like that, and energy, and the way I... I know that is because one day when lightning, this is like a couple months ago, lightning was going to strike. I think I made a video on it, actually. Lightning was going to strike and my ears rang so intensely. I, you know, had me and my boys, we ducked for cover. And sure enough, it was like psh, right there. You know, one of those really close lightning strikes didn't hit my RV or anything, but it hit nearby. It was very close and my ears were ringing. It's kind of similar to that, but not as intense. 
because you know our sun's having a field day with itself in the solar activity and i know it affects us health wise like when i was a nurse when we had solar flares like you know the power goes out sometimes when that happens but um what the hell is that i supposed to turn there oh god i was fuck damn it oh no i wasn't okay thank god anyway um we would have a lot of chest pain P uh, patients with chest pains and heart attacks because i mean it does something i know it affects our health and our thinking and our mental health too i mean they used to oh my god it's so bright they used to worship the sun you know i mean it, if it wasn't for the sun we wouldn't be here Or God, whoever made this whole thing, whoever made the sun, too. I think it's crazier to think that everything like a Big Bang, that's even more crazy to me than to think that some being or energy created this place. The Big Bang just seems absolutely ridiculous. It's too much of an intelligent design. Way too much. just way too intelligent our bot down to our bodies everything the way the trees okay i'm at the store so whatever i'm gonna go so i'm out of the store and now i'm gonna get on the freeway and go home normally i'd be getting out 10 minutes from now isn't that wild oh my god you know i was just thinking not thinking but I was in the store and then um God is like I don't know I talk to God a lot so I think this YouTube is supposed to be something like something big like huge I don't know why I get that feeling so the whole life of this channel well when I first started I didn't think it was gonna be anything major you know what I mean I was just vlogging my manifesting journey and trying to reconcile with my husband. I look back on that now and I'm just like, what in the hell was I doing? But I was very lost and hurt. Desperate. Um, you know, and, and it's a hopeless case, but um, give me a hopeless case and I, I'll find hope in it. I'll tell you that. That's just how I roll. Um, even my husband said, you're so stubborn, you know, nobody could tell you anything. True enough. I'll give him that. He's right about that. So I have my heart set on something, <clears throat> you know, and, and this is a case where, but it's because I usually can make things work. I'll find a way, no matter what it is, I will find a way if I really want something. And this time it just didn't happen. That's the crazy thing. Like when we had kids, I thought hey, me and him together, you know, he had issues, right? I didn't have issues reproductively. So we did an IVF, right? One time, one shot, one kill. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense, but I only had money for one, right? And, um, <laughs> It's only 25% chance of working, period, even, no matter what. All right? And you, you're lucky you get one. And um, all those, like, multiples you hear about, those are exceedingly rare. Triplets are one in, like, 300,000-something. When I, at the time, when I, uh, and my doctor said, it's less than 3% chance of, um, did you say twins or triplets? No, it was triplets, right? So it's not something that happens all the time, even though it seems common because people put it in the news, you know, but that's how uncommon it is. And um, <clears throat> the crazy thing is I knew of, um, I used to work with this guy um, who had the same birthday as me, which is so weird. And I don't hardly ever see that. And um, he was really into all this esoteric stuff. And he introduced me to like 
David Icke and Barbara Marciniak and all these weird books back then. Josh, if you're ever listening, he had like the the like most beautiful blue eyes. I couldn't even like look at him seriously because you get lost in him. You ever hear that saying? I'm not saying because I'm some sicko who was staring at him like all horny, not like that. I'm just saying like his eyes were so he was almost ethereal. And anyway, he had a sister that look at how off topic I get. He had a sister who had natural triplets. That's insane. And I remember meeting her like a year or two before I had mine. That's so crazy. Um, but anyway, we had triplets and um, I was shocked. I thought for sure, like, you know, love, attraction, love, whatever, assumption, manifesting, all that shit, secret. I knew it was going to work. I d couldn't even accept that it wouldn't work. Because I loved my husband so much. I was like, and he wanted kids so bad, too. I believed him. <laughs> That's not the case, I don't think, anymore. But, which is sad. Sad as hell. But, um, God, it's getting dark. But, um, so I really wanted to give this a go. And I knew we were going to have one or two. I thought we were going to have twins at most. Triplets? There's no way in hell I would ever... Even my doctor was like, whoa, he was all excited because it helps his statistics for his clinic. Good Lord. <clears throat> and I was 36 at the time. But anyway, I don't know where, what my point was. What was my fucking point? I don't know what I was talking about. I'm just talking about everything and anything. This is how I would talk to anybody who would stand me talking constantly but of course, if you were here, you'd be contributing to the conversation. So I feel like, I mean, I could talk for hours, honestly. But. Whoa, it looks so pretty outside. The blue sky up there. You should see the sunset. Let's see if you can see. Oh, not the sunset, but I guess so. Can you see that? It doesn't even show up, I don't think, very good on camera. It's like orange, golden, and it's blue up there. Um, anyway, I'll turn that off for now. So I did find my my boys, the one boy who really wanted to try sushi. He's always, since he's little, wanted to get like a sushi kit, make sushi. But he doesn't like fish really that much except tuna. Like that's the only thing I like too. I'll eat like freaking fish sticks or fish fillets. And I think I had salmon once from my stepmother. She made really good. But that aftertaste of the ocean, I can't handle that. But anyway, um, I got the sushi. I got two different rolls. And I think one is a New York crunch roll. One's a spicy something or another. <laughs> but, uh, oh, God, it's dark. Um, oh, yeah, you'll see the sunset now. Look at that. It's beautiful see if I can show well no you can't see any more than that so anyway um let me put my rear view I need to see something all right there we go um hey why so much traffic it's Monday right yeah um whoa people why are we going so slow I mean, it is a slow lane but anyway um well it's so beautiful look at blue and Oh, God, I love the sunsets here. They're absolutely gorgeous. Nothing like a desert sunset, really. Like, I know people say Florida or whatever, but my sister used to send me pictures, and she lived there for a while, and she was in the Air Force. But she said, you know, Arizona still had better. I think so. <clears throat> and if you live at a place with a bunch of trees... You can't really see, um, oh my God, the road here is so awful. You can't really see the sunsets or the sky. You can only see like directly above you. And that's, I never want that again in my life. Mm -hmm. But anyway, um, I got to get in the fast lane as soon as the traffic splits up. God, it's beautiful over there too. Let's see if I can show you. Can you see that? It's not showing up on camera. How weird. It looks white. Alrighty then. 
Oh. Boy, this could be a long ass video, guys, so I hope you really like talking. Oh, because if you like talking, this is the video. Jeez. But any, anyway, I don't know what else I'm talking about. So go, oh yeah, the sushi. Fuck, man. I know the moment I turn this off, I'm going to be so sleepy. I'll be trying not to fall asleep. Uh, even with an energy drink before I left, it doesn't do anything. I can, if I'm exhausted enough, I can fall asleep with an energy drink. And coffee puts me right to sleep. I don't know why. Unless I'm well rested. It might make me stay up a little, but other than that, if I'm tired, it relaxes me. It's an ADHD thing, I believe, but... But the... Back to the fucking sushi. So got him two of those. It has imitation crab. He didn't want any funny business of, like, raw fish or... Ugh. They look really good. I might try it. Has avocado... But I'm just happy that I'm off work and I can spend four days with my children. Man, that's what I had them for, to spend time with them and raise them. With my first kids, even though that guy was a loser too, oh my God, I shouldn't say that. I mean, but he was. He was an asshole to me. That's why he still kisses my ass. The few times he, like, asks about me or he wants to, like, help me build something. But, of course, this husband would never let him. Even though we could have used him several times to... Anyway. Mason or whatever, but... You know, they, they know they did me wrong. All of them. All three of them. My major relationships... Like I said, even my ex-fiance, I had to block him, or not block him, I changed my phone number, and I told him not to call me again or anything, and <clears throat> he called me for several, until I got married again, and I'm like, he's going to cause problems if he keeps calling me. By then, we'd been broken up already for four years, five years, something like that, but... But it's like, it's like, get off the, what is it? Get off the pot, or what is it called? Take a shit or get off the pot? I don't know what the fuck. Anyway, that's how I felt. It's like, he had asked me to marry him, but then he never planned the wedding and all that. And not only that, I had broken up with him because I could see the writing on the wall. His um, true deep lack of commitment. Um, he knew I would call him on his shit, and he... He knew he couldn't handle that. He had to be 100% or not at all. He's a workaholic, which is great, but until you're sitting there every time you meet up, he's late by hours and he's on the phone with work, his job. You know, he's a micromanager too. He had to micromanage shit. He couldn't just leave his employees to do it. But like I said, he treated me like a princess otherwise, and I'll never um, forget that. Um, but yeah, I think this last marriage here, I think I'm going to be like traumatized for a while. I have no interest in a relationship for the foreseeable future. It would have to take a really special person and it would have to be like an organic thing starting out as friends or something to really, really and be slow as hell <laughs> uh, I just don't, I'm not interested I just, I ugh. I just have I know this sounds like um, conceited or whatever, but when I love, I love with all my heart and I, I give such an unconditional love like more than their own mother would I just have way too much to offer heart wise, I don't think I don't know. I don't. I've never met anybody like me in it like that way. Not saying I'm perfect, but I. I don't know. I just. It's. Just 
I'm sure some of you guys can relate out there. You gave, you know, you give a lot and then you don't get much in return. Or worse, you get abuse in return or meanness, trauma in return. Ugh. I don't know. I'm, I'm happy by myself. Even when I was a kid, like I said, I never wanted to get married or have kids. And, and then <laughs> that's not what happened. It's so weird. I don't even know how that happened, but. So I think I'm returning to my roots when I was a kid, you know? Not, I don't want to like be alone alone. Of course I want my kids, you know, always help them and you know, they can live with me as long as they want until they get on their feet or whatever. My older kids could have had that too, but they had to be brats. <laughs> um, But these boys, I told them, I said, you guys don't believe until you set a foundation for yourselves out there. I mean, I think that's how it should be. Old fashioned. I don't know, that's just me not knocking what anybody else does. Because, you know, some people, everybody raises kids differently and all individual and the kids are individual and what works for one doesn't necessarily work for another so but let me get over here boy that sunset is now pink and blue I don't think you can see it let's see oh my lord look how pink and oh my goodness yeah you guys can't see from there that's crazy it's so beautiful um, oh, they hear the wind noise. I had the heater on this morning. Let me put this down, like, to AC. I don't know why it still, like, leaks out as heat if you leave it on the heater, even if it's off. So I'll put it there. Okay, I'll turn it back on. It is, what's the temperature outside? 54? No way. It does not feel like 54. Seriously? No way. That is not. You're out of your mind, car. The car is usually right, though. Anyway. I think this is getting really long. This would be like a fucking hour at this point. I don't know what else to say. I just, if I can't control me, myself, like really nodding out come back but I'm about halfway home or less <laughs> but anyway yeah I want to really just get home faster than later sooner than later I mean yeah my words are I'm stumbling over my words now so I'm definitely getting tired I'd like to turn off this light and just get in the fast lane and zoom home um so, I don't know, you guys let me know in the comments, like, which videos you like the best. These kind, story times, or where I just, like, I mean, I don't, I'm not going to force a rant or anything. But, like, if I have a bad day or something, I'll share, of course. And if I have a rant, I'll share. I'm not, definitely not going to be forcing anything. That'd be fake as fuck. And, um, that's anti, that's my not my values I know some people do whatever that's just not me but anyway I'm gonna go I will talk to you guys later I'll put this long ass video up tomorrow on Tuesday and yeah or, or what would you like me to talk about that you could put that like more specifics or whatever but I'm, this is a good time to go. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye now.